Howdy folks, Keith here. Today we have an adorable little snub nose revolver, a Rossi 462 chambered in 357. We've got double action, six round cylinder. For sights, we have a groove cut into the top strap and a fixed ramp. We're going to be shooting some reloads, 125 grain, I believe, and we're going to see if this thing's accurate. I'm going to put it on paper here first to see where it's shooting and then take it out as far as I can on the steel. Let's get to it. If I can get some bullets in the gun here. All right, on the paper. Not bad, not bad. Shooting left. I know it's a snubby. I got to shoot some in double action. Let's do that. We can see our three shot group. All right. Well, I think it is shooting a little bit left. That's okay. The, uh, I'll tell you, I really like the grip here. Let me get turned around. I really like the grip on this thing. It's still small for carrying and concealability, but I like that it's got enough. I like the texture and that I've got enough width there to get a hold of the thing. Recoil is not bad. Uh, this ammo is kind of a medium loading. It's not super heavy, but uh, feels good. Nice little piece. We're going to take it out here to... Ah, let's just go straight to the twin gongs there at um, 20 yards. Shouldn't be a problem. Well, I thought I was shooting left. I guess I'm shooting a little bit everywhere. What am I doing? I got one more here. There we go. Little gong. All right. I think this gun is a good balance of size and weight uh, for concealability. It doesn't feel heavy but it takes recoil well. I wouldn't mind carrying it, I'll tell you that. So I've got the big red gong out at 50 yards. That'll be our next target here. Don't know what the weather's gonna end up being today. We're getting a little bit of everything so far. 50 yards. All right. That was a good hit. And that wasn't. Nor was that. Come on now. Am I shooting low? Well, I kept holding higher and higher and didn't need to. I think it's on at 50. I'm seeing printing left a little bit again. But I've got my big yellow plate up there at 70. We'll try that. The, um, I don't mind the, the way the sights are configured, the channel and the top strap and the ramp. But them being the same color as the frame or being somewhat shiny, it's kind of hard to get a good picture, but we'll try. 70 yards. That sounded like a hit. That was definitely a hit.
Yeah, all right. Well, it feels pretty good. I'm gonna back up here to the tree line behind us and it'll give me 100 yards out there on that yellow target. Trigger feels good. It felt good in double action too. Um, size for concealability, I can put it in my pocket. No problem. I like the grip. Uh, I wish the sights were a little more visible. I'll say that. I could take a black pen to that if I wanted to, but we're not going to do it today. I'm going to go up and take a look at these hits and then back up and shoot it 100 yards. We got a man down. Let me help him out. See what we got. There's our first three shots and then the other three shooting double action. Gong's at 20 yards. 50 yard gong. Here's my two hits. I'm pretty sure the other ones were just high because I was holding higher and I didn't need to. I believe I see three hits on the 70 yard plate. One, two, and I think that was the one that sounded weird. I think. The bird agrees. Okay, here we are, 100 yards. Luckily the wind's picking up. Try to get some on target. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thought that was gonna be a little off. It was a little low when the trigger broke. It was a little left when the trigger broke. Speaking of which, I don't think I mentioned, the trigger pull feels great here in single action. Very nice. I'll take it. She's dancing. I always miss the last shot. Well, is it accurate? Yeah. Would I get three hits at 100 yards? Should you make sure that uh, snub nose revolver you're looking at to purchase, make sure it's accurate out to 100 yards? You don't have to, but try it anyway. It's fun.